Great things begin with small steps. It was Moses who interceded for Israel. And uh, we see throughout the Bible how individuals and how small groups began to pray for their city, for their nation. And we're coming here to do the same here at Darling Harbour because we believe that God loves this city. The Lord Jesus Christ has given His life for this city, for the people in the city. And you can see right around you so many hundreds and thousands of people that tonight are coming to dine, to have a time out with the family. But uh, we're right here to shine uh, for the Lord and to pray for this city, to pray for the people. You see, the heartbeat of God is uh, that He loves this place. For God so loved Sydney that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. And with that conviction in our hearts, with that truth from God's Word, we're going to start off with a word of prayer and then uh, we're also going to be uh, coming together, separating also in little groups and praying for our city, praying for our government, praying for the pastors and churches in our city. So let's do that. Let's have a word of prayer and then uh, I'll give you a little bit more of instructions as to what we're going to do uh, tonight. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we just want to thank you for this great opportunity that we have to come here to Darling Harbour, the very heart of our city. And we thank you because you've given us this opportunity to come out here publicly to worship you and to let other people know that you love them, that you have a, a message of hope. And we come under the filling of the Holy Spirit. We want to come, Lord, to intercede for this city. We want to come and, and lift these people up before you, Lord right here in all the hustle and bustle and all the uh, busyness of the people here and the leisure of this place and yet we bring this city before you and we ask that your holy spirit may bring conviction and may bring uh, life to the people in this city so they may know that you love them so they may know that you have given your life for them so they may know that they may receive life and forgiveness of sins and Lord, we thank you for this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So guys, it's wonderful, wonderful to be here. We were just here a few uh, minutes ago, just talking with Peter. And uh, as we see our city right here, as you see all the limelights and uh, this wonderful place that we are here, we must remember that we not only see, uh, uh, you know, traffic behind us, and we're not only just seeing buildings, we are looking at people, souls, people that are walking right around this city. And these are souls that one day will stand before the very throne of God. And uh, what's going to change, what's going to change the heart of people in our world today is presenting them the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is the message of hope that he has for every single individual. And that is our responsibility. We've come here to worship. But we're also going to come here to intercede for our city, to pray to the Lord and ask Him. So in this small group, that He may just open the heavens and great things may happen right here in this place. For we know that we have a great God, a God that just the people in this place and that we're standing in the gap. We're standing in the very place where the Lord wants us to stand, right here. So as you look around and as you're going to start to pray very soon, I want you to think about the people that surrounds us. And I want you to think about our nation and to think about our government, to pray for our churches and our pastors, to pray especially so the Lord may open up the doors for 2012 next year so we may have a major event here at Darling Harbour. That's something that we need to begin to pray right now. So then the Lord is going to move and we're going to see mighty things happening because this is a ripple effect. It's like just being in the middle here of this harbour and you just throw a small stone in the middle, as tiny as it could be, and yet it creates that ripple effect. Well, we, you may say we are a small group, but I want to tell you this small group can just uh, multiply in the next year by, by us contacting pastors and leaders and going through social media 
and getting the word out that our city needs Jesus Christ.